Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about Holter Monitoring. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. The learning objectives we will be discussing in this video will be What is Holter Monitoring? What are the indications of Holter Monitoring? How to prepare the patient for Holter Monitoring? How to place the patient for Holter Monitoring? How to place the leads of Holter Monitor? What are the nurse's responsibilities pertaining to Holter Monitoring? What are the results of Holter Monitoring? Let's get into the session. Now, what is Holter Monitoring? Holter monitoring, often referred to as a Holter monitor test or ambulatory electrocardiogram, that is ECG or EKG, is a non-invasive diagnostic procedure that involves continuously recording a person's heart's electrical activity, that is heart rate and rhythm, over an extended period, typically 24 to 48 hours. Next comes Indications of Holter Monitoring Holter monitoring can provide considerably more diagnostic information than a standard resting ECG. First is evaluating chest pain. It helps assess chest pain not clearly linked to physical activity or known causes. Next, it evaluates intermittent symptoms. Here, Holter monitor is used to investigate irregular symptoms like palpitations, dizziness, or fainting that appears and go. Next comes arrhythmia evaluation. Holter monitoring is used to identify and understand different types of heart rhythm irregularities such as atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, ventricular tachycardia, and bradycardia. Next is medication effectiveness. It assesses how well antiarrhythmic medications or treatments control the heart rhythm. Next is for post cardiac surgery. It monitors the heart's activity during the recovery period after cardiac procedures. Next is risk assessment. This can be used to assess the risk of stroke or heart attack, especially in individuals with known risk factors. Next is follow-up monitoring. After a cardiac event or treatment, it helps monitor the long-term effects and detect any recurrent arrhythmias. Now, types of Holter monitor. Holter monitoring comes in various types, each serving specific purposes in monitoring the cardiac activity. Here comes standard Holter monitor. It has electrodes and a portable recorder. It is a battery operated portable device that measures and records the heart's ECG activity continuously. Electrodes are attached to the chest and the patient wears a small portable recorder. The metal electrodes conduct heart's activity through the wires and into the Holter monitor where it is recorded. Holter monitor that continuously records the heart's electrical activity over a 24 to 48 hour period. There may be a patient button on the front that the patient can press at specific instants. Now comes preparation of patient for Holter monitoring. First, explain the procedure to the patient and obtain an informed consent. This includes explaining purpose, duration, and any potential discomfort during monitoring. Next is preparation of the skin. Ensure the patient's chest is clean and dry. If needed, remove the chest hair with the help of clipper to improve electrode contact with the skin. Next is placement of electrodes. Attach the adhesive electrodes to specific locations on the chest as per the healthcare provider's instructions. Let's discuss 
how to place the lid soft holter monitor. The most common are two channel five electrode lead placement and three channel seven electrode lead placement. And these channel constantly monitors and records ECG data for 24 to 48 hours. And for the placement, follow the manufacturer guide or reference to place the leads. Here is an example for two channel five electrode lead placement. The red lead is placed over the fifth intercostal space at the anterior axillary line. The white lead is placed below the right clavicle, just lateral to the mid-clavicular line. The brown color lead is placed on the fourth intercostal space at the right sternal edge. The black lead is placed below the left clavicle, just lateral to the mid-clavicular line. And the green lead is placed on the lower right chest wall on a rib. In this configuration, two channels of ECG data are bipolar. Red positive is referenced to white negative and white positive is referenced to black negative. Next is preparing the Holter monitor device. Prepare the Holter monitor device ensuring that it is functional, has adequate battery life and is ready to record data and attach the leads to the electrodes and start it. Now, secure the wires and leads along the patient's body using medical tape or adhesive to prevent them from being accidentally pulled or disconnected. How do we do this? Form a stress loop with each electrode lead, tape the loop to the skin, leave enough slack between the electrode and the stress loop. Now, during Holter monitoring, instruct the patient regarding Holter monitoring purpose and the importance of continuous wear. Instruct the patient to push the button of Holter when experiencing symptoms. If the patient is not hospitalized, explain the patient that they can carry on with their normal activities while wearing the monitor, including work, exercise, and sleep. Activities to be avoided include swimming that may dislodge the electrodes. Instruct the patient to keep a diary or log sheet to record daily activities, symptoms, and any notable events. If the patient is hospitalized, nurse needs to document and monitor the same. Next is comfort and care. Ensure the patient is comfortable with the monitor. Carefully position the patient to avoid disconnection of the leads. Avoid tight clothing. Avoid water exposure during sponging. Advise patient to avoid contact with magnetic or electrical devices such as magnets, metal detectors, high voltage areas and electric blankets where it can interfere with the function of the monitor. Now, after Holter monitoring, removal of the Holter monitor. Remove the leads and electrodes carefully. Next is data retrieval. Retrieve the Holter monitor from the patient and download the recorded data onto a computer for analysis. Next, analysis and reporting. Analyze the recorded data and the diary to identify any irregularities in the heart's electrical activity. Next is treatment plan, which is based on the results. Normal results may be interpreted as normal sinus rhythm, absence of arrhythmias, stable ST segment and T wave patterns, no evidence of heart block, normal QT interval. And abnormal results might be interpreted as arrhythmias, ST segment and T wave abnormalities, heart blocks, QT interval prolongation, episodes of asystole, symptomatic episodes. So, so far we have discussed what is Holter monitoring, 
what are the indications of Holter monitoring, how to prepare the patient for Holter monitoring, how do we place the leads of Holter monitor, what are the nurses responsibilities pertaining to Holter monitoring and what are the results of Holter monitoring. So this is all about Holter monitoring. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.